Good morning, guys. So, the goal today is to find somewhere for Luke to go fishing in the ocean so that he can catch some ocean fish, hopefully, and use his new ocean fishing rod that he has. And then we're planning on staying on the northern tip of Prince Edward Island tonight. So it's kind of hard. We don't really know what areas are going to be the best for fishing or like have the best terrain or anything like that. So we're actually just going to head up the coastline, checking out a couple different spots and just adventuring today trying to find a good fishing spot. So. We found our way to Union Corner Provincial Park here Ooh. on our way up to the northern tip of PEI, but let's see what the coastline is like here. I wonder if it's fishable. Yeah, beauty. What the heck? It's a beach and people are in bathing suits and picnicked on the shore. Did not anticipate this. So we just walked around a little bit and found this cliff area. So pretty. All the red rocks and red sand. I think PEI is famously known for all that kind of stuff, so that's pretty cool. So, that was a beautiful little pull and stop here, but we're gonna press onwards. I don't know if it drops off too much. It's not like it's a jetty or a pier or a wharf or anything to fish off of where it's gonna be deep. I hate to be casting out and then retrieving in like four feet of water the whole time where there's nothing happening. So, we've only just got here. We've only started driving today, so. There's no need to stay at the first spot. It was beautiful, but let's go see what we can find down the road farther, guys. This massive church may warrant a quick stop. Let's go check it out. How cool is this for a random view to find when we're just driving down the road? Giant church there. A really cool looking cemetery behind me here as well. All right on the cliffs to the ocean. Well, back on the road. Alrighty, so we found this harbor here and it looks like pretty decent fishing conditions. We just don't know 100% if we're allowed to fish here. I think we are, but who knows? Sometimes the fishing regulations that they give you are very vague and kind of weird so we don't really know for sure but let's try it out. Alrighty guys we are fishing the Atlantic it's happening. No luck on the fish catching yet. We've been getting out here for a while. Beautiful sunny day in PEI. I don't know if you can see the background here. There's a lighthouse and red rock cliffs on that side. Beautiful marina in front of me. I talked to a super friendly local here said it was fine to park here and fish all day type thing so we're getting at it. It turns out fishing is free in the ocean in the end. You just need to buy a license for inland. So Alicia's out getting to fish a bit too right now and having a few casts at it. And it's a beautiful sunny day in PEI, guys. All right, no luck fishing, sadly. Apparently it's striped bass in the area and maybe mackerel, a local had told me, but you can't catch yourself a dinner. And you see locals you think might be picking clams or something. Why not ask them how to get a dinner then? Maybe we can find some fresh food for ourselves to get here. So I'm going to go ask those lovely folk down there what they're up to. So the local is actually not a super local local. He moved here in January, he said from Ontario. So his wife's just picking up seashells. She does art and she paints them. So no secret dinner tips or nothing. So we're going out of here empty handed. And here we are, northern tip of PEI guys. This is going to be home for the night. It's by a wind institute, so there's a whole bunch of windmills behind us here. Pretty cool here, and there is Alicia exploring the campsite. Oh, spending the night. It looks like Kitty wants to explore this area too, but you're not allowed. <laughs> so, as Luke was showing you, lots of windmills around here. They're actually huge. They have pieces of them down here so that you can, like, go up to them and see how big they actually are. Check this out. So this is the main piece of the windmill. Super big as you can see. And then this is just one of the propellers. What? That is huge. 
So we are going to make dinner and make this home for tonight. We'll explore more of the area tomorrow and take you guys along with us. So we'll see you then. Bye! And good morning world from the wind energy area here. We are on the northern tip of PEI. We're walking right to the ocean at the very northernmost part right now. It's pretty, pretty amazing out here. Pretty windy too. Yeah, definitely windy. We had a windy night. RV was getting blown around in the wind there. I mean, hence the windmills, I guess. Look at all the windmills in the background we got going on here. And then the ocean is back up and over there. Big old Atlantic. And then there we are with the lighthouse that was spinning around the parking lot all night. We had our bedroom parked on the opposite side of where the light shines, but across the whole parking lot, it was an amber, really orange light. So it's kind of a spooky parking lot look last night. But hey, really cool spot to spend the night in another fun time RV in. We are loving being on Prince Edward Island here so far. Talk about this is the spot of an adventure. We're approaching the cliff side here and there's giant red rock cliffs. Ah, the Across Canada adventure. Way to go, Canada. spot was getting busy guys so we headed out of there we are now at Tnish or however you pronounce it shores here at the provincial park on PEI so we are gonna enjoy it here and see what's over us here we are on the North Shore on the top of the Atlantic part of PEI here still ah oh, it's a beach I was hoping for fishing darn it red sand beach is pretty cool though check it out guys Guys, the sand here is so cool. All on PEI, it's like this really red color from all the red rocks, and it's like super fine. Like, I'd bring some up to show you, but it's just gonna fly away in the wind. It's so nice. What a random nice little park to check out, though. Lighthouse, Alicia's on the swings back there. Ah, beautiful day on PEI and on the road. Loving it. And here we are. At a nice little marina, not even a marina, just a harbor, I believe, actually. Dead end road, took a whole bunch of dirt roads down in the middle of nowhere to get here. So still enjoying kind of being up in this more secluded rural Prince Edward Island part. Gonna try fishing in the harbor here and then the jetty today. See what I can make happen. But, like I said, hanging out here today in the RV, taking it easy. Keep you posted, guys. <laughs> no luck fishing so far yet again. Might have to try around sunset or at a better time of day, but... Alicia is out here on the rock getting some action in here as well, so Let's see if we can have any darn ocean fishing luck yet. Go Alicia, go. Go Alicia, go. Join us next time when we make a fun little upgrade to the RV in Prince Edward Island National Park and we finally get to go clamming. <laughs>